Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. It's another another Friday, another couple of Power of the Force figures. We're doing a double feature. We're doing a Torture Droid double feature. Uh, this one goes out to Leslie Tarkin5705, um, who did a little bit of a request asking for these two droids. So I thought, why not make it a bit of a double feature? So this is what we're doing this week. We're talking about 88 and EV99. This EV99 I've actually had since I was seven or eight years old. Um, so he's definitely stood the test of time. He's always, always had a bowed leg. <laughs> just, I remember from the day I got it, um, it was just, I've, I've done the old boil, boil trick to try and get it to straighten out and it keeps wanting to revert to that shape. So yeah, he always ends up with a stand or a, um, some blue tack on the, uh, on the feet just to help him sort of stand every now and then I'll do the boil just to try and straighten it out a little bit but after a while it does end up you know a little bit wonky again and so I've always just kind of gone with it in my head even as a kid I was just like oh he's just a bit of a a wonky scrap droid you know but I don't know I, I, I love this droid I don't know what it is I think he's cool love EV99 um, <laughs> well overdue for an upgrade at this point, you know, this is 1997, so it's been 26 years since we've had an EV99, and, uh, you know, perfect time to get one out, and then you could double up, Hasbro could double up on that and use the, uh, use, use the same mold and have a bartender droid from the Mandalorian. But yeah, he's been a, he's been a long term favourite of mine. That one. You know, he's his little little console, which desperately needs a wash and some there's some real funky dust build up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna, as soon as I'm done here, I'm taking this to get cleaned. Um, that needs a that needs a good clean. I didn't even notice it. So yeah, that'll be nice uh, nice to get all nice and clean. And here we've got 8D8s. It's a torture rack. Again, this thing is kind of cool. Enough room to put a little gonk droid underneath to get his uh, get his feet stamped or branded. You know, it comes in pieces so you can peg that out. And that sort of swings up and down forward. Not that you need it to, it kind of just wants to sit up there. And that sort of just pivots around to the side at the top there. Not sure whether it comes out. It will come out. You got to press the two little clamps together to get that one out, and then the the little handle. So we are finally getting an update of 8D8. He's coming in with packed in with uh, the job of the job of the heart that's coming out in the vintage collection next year, um, which is great. Because um, yeah, again we're talking. Talking, this one is also 1998. Well, that one's 97. This one was 98. So yeah, we're talking 25 years between 88s. This guy's a little bit bow-legged too, but again, they're sort of that pro, sort of pre-posed look. But especially with 88, sort of having a little bit bigger role in Book of Boba Fett, being his sort of translator, I guess. Now, I'm pretty sure it's confirmed to be 8D8. I don't know if it's meant to be another droid, but I'm, I'm calling him 8D8. But yeah, the cool thing is you get him behind here. You can almost get his claws around the sort of control there. And that'll help him stand up a bit straighter. Yeah, I was always a little bit iffy about that scene as a kid in the torture room. Didn't quite work out what was going on, why the droids were um, screaming. But obviously they do have like sensory programming as well. This is another one of those figures. If I just pop it up a little bit. I'm just going to get a torch on my phone. Get the torch. Much like the Jawas and the R2-D2 I did a week or two ago. Yeah, sort of illuminated eyes, which is fantastic. I love that look. You can see the yellow plastic there on the top. 
so yeah, very looking, very much looking forward to an updated version of this guy. Some more articulation. Doesn't look like he's got articulated elbows in the new figure, but yeah, what can you do? It's not. They're, they're skinny little elbows, but it's not. It's not uh, not doable. You know what I'm saying? Like it can be done. <laughs> They've proved it with other figures. Even if they gave him a swap out arm so you can have like a bent arm like this. You can just swap out so you can have him with the control panel or whatever. But I don't know. I really like these two droids. I think they're cool. I like them. Definitely want to... Definitely would love to see, you know, maybe a bit more of a, a torture chamber diorama pet set. That would be cool. You get some of the more sort of junk and, you know, maybe get the, the 2-1-B on the... 2-1-B unit up on the uh, thing where his arms are sort of sprayed open, getting electrocuted. But yeah, EV-99, he's, he's always had an interesting look to me. You know, they're sort of, it's like bug eyes. It's like uh, Forlom and Zuckus. He always sort of come across as a bit of a meanie as well. He's very, very blunt and to the point. But yeah, these these two definitely display together nicely. You just yeah, gotta get gotta get a lot more sort of junk and surrounding bits and pieces to build up the workshop a little bit more, which is always always cool to do when you're sort of filling a scene. I think it looks good when you can add more stuff to it. But yeah, definitely, uh, definitely looking forward to the update. Don't think we'll be getting another one of these. So, folks, if you get onto your Power of the Force, make sure you track one of these down so you can have this this torture torture rack here because it's a it's a good diorama piece and a little bit of extra paint you can uh, get it looking a lot nicer than the sort of plain plastic that I have it as now. And same with this, you know, if you if you don't let it get as dusty as me, you can sort of Add a little bit of paintwork and stuff in there if you're a little bit inclined. Um, you know, like have that sort of view screen sort of lit up a little bit more. I think that would look cool. But yeah, both cool sort of diorama pieces to go with the figures. I think that was, uh, you know, definitely a big, big winning point for the Star Wars toys back then. They did some really cool stuff. And we're starting to get back into that now, seeing more and more sort of accessories and dioramas and stuff like that. So. Yeah, hopefully it continues nice and strong. So again, thanks to Leslie for requesting this one. I've got another request, which should be done next week. Um, if not, it's it's on the road. It's on the way. It's coming um, because next request was some Ewoks, but I only have one. So maybe doing that one. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely, definitely, that's definitely on top of my list. Any other requests for Power of the Force related? Um, and it's even cool that these two are so, you know, tied together. We're able to do a bit of a double feature on the, on the two of them. So glad to be able to do a little bit of a double showcase this week. It's been fun. Again, like just being able to get these old figures off the shelf out of the containers, you know, unfortunately they are in tubs at the moment, but, um, being able to fish them out and have a good look at them for the first time in, you know, numerous years. Especially EV-99 that I've had since I was a kid. Can't stand up. <laughs> Alright folks, thank you very much for watching another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. I hope you've enjoyed it. Definitely be back for more next Friday. If there were more Fridays in a week, I'd be doing a lot more of these. But alas, this is where it's a it's a good series to be doing Power of the Force Fridays because it knows I know that there's a, a lot of content for, for a long time to come so it's always going to be something that's going to be on my channel from now on fingers crossed <laughs> all being well alright folks thank you very much for watching I do appreciate your time stay tuned for next week and some more videos in between until then may the force be with you always